Oh, I can't hold it. It's probably one of the toughest spots I've ever had. Thanks for joining me again on the channel. Hey, we're uh, off Morton Island again. Today I've, I've got Mark Hamo with me and he's on a Fish Pro. And he's uh, one of my buddies that comes up to Swains Reef with us on our, our uh, biann biennial trips up to the Swains. Good guy. Um, he's out on his Sea Dew Fish Pro, as I said, for the first time in quite a while for him. Last time we went out, I think it was before Christmas and he, um, we went off Noosa together and he got a little bit seasick. Uh, wasn't great fishing that day, but uh, we thought we'd try it again today and you know, it's looking okay today. So uh, we did catch some live bait on the way out. I've put that down this morning, had no success. I had basically lost them all to small fish. I think that took the bait and took the tails, didn't go for the whole fish. So I decided I think I better put the, put the jig out and I'm gonna put a Nomad uh, 120 on because we're in about 65 meters, 70 meters. So I'm gonna try the Nomad 120 with assist hooks on both ends and we'll see how we go. There's quite a, quite a good show, we got the water columns. They're, they we're looking like, I don't know, they look like snapper. They could be um, amberjack or even pearl perch. Um, Mark's already landed a nice little parrot, a tusky, I think, sorry, the Venus tusk fish. Good size too, I think it was like 45 or 48 centimeters. So that's a decent table fish. Uh, so we're looking forward to a good day. It's been a little bit wet getting out here. Uh, we had to take our time because we had like a southeast swell with a northeast wind causing quite a bit of short chop and uh, we got quite wet on the way out as well. So. But anyway, it's looking like a, a good day. Let's, um, let's uh, keep going. Hopefully you'll stay with us for the whole video and we'll see what happens today. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. On the drop again. Yeah. Could be an amberjack. Yeah, it feels different though. Oh. Yeah, it's got a size in it. Whatever it is. That I get shot. <sighs> yeah, it's definitely hooked. I've managed to get myself a little bloody bird. Oh no! Yeah, you got to remember to sort of thumb the spool sometimes, or usually a little drag thing. Jeez, something white. Oh, it's a big snapper. Good size snapper. Shit. I want to lose it here. Yes. Well, the assist hooks ended up his clapper, <laughs> which wasn't great. Right, yeah, that's a uh, 54 centimeter snapper. Um, took the jig near the bottom. It's a decent sized little snapper. I'm happy with that one. And that one's coming home for dinner. So the current's so strong today. Uh, we're um, drifting into like th two knots. So um, every time I uh, drop, I probably go about 60, 70 meters before I hit the bottom. 
So you've got to sort of get right up, up, upwind of the, um, well, up current of the spot that you're trying to target. At the moment, it's like little patches of um, what appears to be snapper, and um, you drift off them pretty quickly. So I, I try to keep the engine to get over it, but even with the engine running and the current, we, we're drifting off the marks very quickly. So it's making it a little bit tough. Now, Mark is down there somewhere. I've lost sight of him, actually. He's um, drifted off trying to undo a tangle, but I, I know he's in that direction because that's the way that he's drifting. So I'm sure I'll see him soon. But it's, very, it's, it's amazing how quickly your buddies could go missing at sea, you know, as in you can't see them because of the horizon. Oh, no, I just think I've just spotted him. He's a long way off now. He's probably at least three kilometres off. Um, but, you know, at least I know he'll, he'll be headed that way. So if I've got to find him, I'll just keep heading that way. And he's also got a sounder and GPS like me, so he knows where our marks are, where he's got to come back to when he gets his tangle sorted out. So anyway, I'm going to go back up again and try again, try another drift to see what happens. I might even change lures if this after this drift. If I, I'm not catching um, any... Whoop, here comes another patch of fish now. Might as well drop it here, give it a go. Um, I, uh, if I'm not catching anything in this this drift, I might um, in the next drift I might actually change change to something else, maybe a uh, Kabura Lu or something like that, and see if I can get anything there. Fish have been hitting just off the bottom, so I'm trying to get it down deep, but they're up the water column. So excuse me if I keep covering myself up. I've, I've actually had some sun damage and some some treatment, so I'm trying to keep the sun off my face as much as possible. Uh, I might just move back up again. Sometimes when I reposition, I'll be you know fast winding in, and I'll actually hook something. So the, I think the movement excites the fish. Some of the other more predatory fish, like the amberjack and kingfish and things like that, like the moving jig, Samson fish. But uh, no, nothing that time. So let's get back up up to the marks where the fish are hanging out and uh, see what I can get. What's that? Oh, sorry, I'll reconnect the radio down your back. Oh, you reckon good snapper? Take a couple of photos. How'd it go? What size? Oh, 61, 62. Oh, that's a good size. Tell you what, mate, you should spat the jig by the time I got it out. <laughs> that's why it took so long to, to um, get control because it had um, spat the jig and I thought if it jumps. Yeah. Yeah, you've probably got a little bit of baritrauma anyway, but yeah, that's a. See the size of the mouth. Yeah. What jig were you using? Oh yeah, like a oh yeah, like a squid thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one of them. Awesome. I'm gonna put down a soft plastic so and give it a go. Same jig I put the other one on. Great. Alrighty. Told you I could put you on the spot, so. Eh? <laughs> so how good was that, hey? Um, See Mark catch his first pearl perch, and what a beauty it was! I think 61 centimeters. Uh, that's a beauty in anybody's book. Uh, great eating fish too. So uh, great to see him uh, catch one. That's as I said, his first pearl perch is a whopper. He's having a good day. He's having a good day. Nothing.
Oh, I don't know. They drop it and the showing goes. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The fish are moving around, of course, so... They're not thick, but they're just sort of moving around a few spots, so you sort of, we're lucky if we can catch, catch one at the moment. We've still got like a two knot current. A little bit of a rainstorm coming through here today. Some bigger storms behind it, so we might leave here soon. I think we might uh, just fish for about 30 more minutes and then we might have to hit the trail. Dropping right on top this time. I think it's a good snapper. Jeez, I can't hold him. Can't hold him. Ah, it might be an amberjack. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I hope it's a nice snapper. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I can't hold it. Oh, this is too big. I just have to see if I can tire him out. And yeah, it's gonna spool me. It's gonna spool me. Yeah. Don't know what it is. Maybe I've got a shark or something. I've only got light line on, so just take my time. Getting a little bit of line back now. Mark the spot too, by the way. We can go back. <laughs> Hoping for a really big, big snapper would be really happy. But this just feels a bit too big for that. Ugh. It's coming up now, what is it? I'm getting them up to the surface now. I think I am. Yeah, take a line. Hi. Maybe that's what I got. I don't want a shark, of course. Oh, 
Wat zei? Here it comes. What is it? Is it a shark? I don't know. There it is. Oh, it's big. It's a big amberjack. Oh, it's a big Sam Samson fish. A very big Samson fish. Oh, I see your lines right. Okay. Are they edible? Apparently. See, that's the biggest one I've caught of those. Are you still hooked up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I got your jig. We both caught it. We both caught it now. What was that, sorry? <laughs> yeah, it's a big fish. There you go. Can you take a photo of that? Thanks, mate. Thank you. There you go, guys. That's me to Samson fish. Man, that was a big fight. It's probably one of the toughest fights I've ever had. I'm going to release this one. They're not great eating. Some people might argue they are, but uh, I'm going to put him in and hopefully he'll be okay. Put him in. There you go. Oh, yes, he's off. He's fine. <laughs> Mission success. Yeah. Okay. Let's pack her up. That's it. So when I uh, pack up, I normally get take my jigs off, and because I've got the split ring onto the jig with a solid ring to the line, quite easy to remove the jig, put it in a tubby little pocket there, hook up the uh, hooks wherever I put them in here. And that way there's no jig smashing into my rod on the way back. Yeah, we better hit the road. So I always cover up my reels when I'm traveling because the force of the travel, salt water really penetrates into the reels when you're driving along at high speed. So definitely get yourself some reel covers and cover them up. Okay. I don't see you guys again. Thanks for tuning in. Hope this uh, episode was okay for you. And I'll see you around next time. Bye.